Less is often more. Speaking the right words, not speaking the most words, can be life-changing. One Christmas morning, my husband Danny decided to call a friend. This friend, he sometimes he wasn't um, real happy. But Danny said, I think I'll just call him and wish him Merry Christmas. He did. He didn't just go on and on. He just called and told him Merry Christmas and hope he had a real good day. Later, somebody that was running one of the little stores near us um, asked Danny, says, what did you do to Bob? And he says, what do you mean? He says, he came in here. He was so happy. He said, Danny had wished me a Merry Christmas to this year, and I'm so happy that he did it. And he went around wishing other people Merry Christmas. Um, sometimes being just being there and telling somebody something nice will do a lot for them. One nice phrase passed around goes miles. Spoken words can be powerful. Words of encouragement can bring great comfort. The idea is not to speak many words, but to speak the right words. Consider this. The Lord's Prayer contains 71 words. The Gettysburg Address, 272 words. The Ten Commandments, 139 words. A U.S. government order setting the price of cabbage, 29,611 words. Written notes can be have a lot more um, impact too because not only do you get the greetings or whatever from them, you also can pick it up and read it again. Think about love letters. If you got, ever got a love letter, you didn't throw it away because you pulled it back out and read it. And I guess if you fell out of love with them, you probably read it too. <laughs> ah, a friend suffering from depression slipped into her church a little late, hoping no one would really notice her. Her Sunday time was off, though, because she slipped in just at the time when the church was welcoming visitors and saying hello to each other. She said she just sat and hoped nobody would even see her and would understand that she just really didn't feel like shaking hands and smiling at anyone. And she put it this way. Then I saw him coming. One of our deacons had spotted me and was walking across the auditorium with a big smile on his face. I wanted to run. He put his arm around my shoulder and gently hugged me. He never said a word, but pressed a piece of paper into my hand, and as quickly as he could come, he was gone. Through tears, I read the precious note that said, I love you and are praying for you and your family. If you ever need anything, I am here. Healing comfort flooded my wounded heart, and I found I had the strength to stay. It's not how long we talk, how eloquent the words are. It's what we say that's so important. Words are like seeds that we plant and will grow. Again, Colossians 4, 6, let your conversation be gracious and effective to that so that you will have the right response for everyone. Just telling somebody thanks or you're doing a good job and giving that free gift of a smile or maybe just a Merry Christmas can make a person's day.